Always remember to express the variable or the quantity to be maximized. With the entry of COVID, all schools and review centers were forced to stop their physical operation. All shifted to online. Different centers use different advertising tricks and gimmicks that cause more confusion in the minds of reviewers and students rather than help them. But in order to give you clear idea on what you will actually experience in our online review, we created this channel so that you will see, know, and experience firsthand how we do it online. But before we begin our discussion today, please don't forget to visit, like our FB page, Padilla Review Center. The link is found below. Please also subscribe in our YouTube channel. Please don't forget to click the notification bell. Choose all so that you will always be updated and notified regarding all our posts. Also, please don't hesitate and we will appreciate it if you will like every post that we will make. This is for all of you who are reviewing and students of math, science, and engineering, most especially civil engineering. So if you have problems or questions or topics that you want us to discuss, just send it to us through our contact numbers below. So let's begin. Let us try to have this problem. According to this problem, a closed cylindrical tank has a capacity of 576.56 cubic meter. Find the minimum surface area. So you may opt to use the conventional calculus solution or you may use my calculator solution. Okay? So the problem with calculus solution is of course you need to differentiate and you need to memorize the formula and you need to be sure that you will not forget the formula. But in this method, it's very practical. So let us do it. We're asked here to find the minimum surface area of the tank. So it is the surface area and it is the close, a closed tank. So the area is going to be equal to, total area is going to be equal to, Area of the base, there are two because it is close, 2 times area is pi r squared. And plus the volume or plus the side surface, the lateral area, which is the circumference times the height. So it is 2 pi r times the h. Now, always remember that when you are doing maxima minima, Always remember to express the variable or the quantity to be maximized or minimized in terms of only one variable. Okay? So either in terms of R or in terms of H. Regardless on whether you use calculus or my calculator method. Okay? Now, we know here that the volume is this one, but volume is area times height. So pi R squared times height. So, and this is equal to 576.56. So, from here, it is easier to solve H in terms of R rather than R in terms of H. So, therefore, our H here is going to be equal to 576.56 over pi R squared. So, if I'm going to substitute this here, the total area which is to be minimized is going to be equal to 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r h but r h is 576.56 over pi r squared pi will cancel 
one r will cancel so we will be left with area is equal to 2 pi r squared plus 2 r 2 r was cancelled times 576.56 so this is 1153.12 over r you get it so once you have this equation variable or quantity to be maximized or minimized in terms of only one variable we are ready to go okay so in these choices since we are asked here to find the minimum surface area the choices must be in the choices must be values of area okay all right so all we need to do is substitute candidate values for r but we will not use calculus we will use calculator so the key is mode table so using mode table mode table your calculator will ask you for function of x so i will take x as r and the area in terms of r will be your f of x so your f of x will be equal to 2 pi x squared plus 1153.12 over r so let us do that so so press equals then start value let us begin with zero let us take it 1 to 30 no so 1 to 30 only uh, because r cannot be zero no so 1 equals 30 equals step 1 equals so roll it down and find the table which one is biggest when r is equal to 1 it's 1000 so when x is equal to 2 600 it is steadily decreasing right but look at the shift so far when x is 5 it is 387.7 right right okay so therefore our maximum our minimum fx varies between 4 and 6 so i will do a second cycle press ca then equals begin now with 4 to 6 4 equals 6 equals in our first cycle we use 1 as our step this time let us do it as 0.1 okay so just divide the first step by 10 so press equals so as you can see here it will revolve around 5 so inspect the values so at 4.6 take note that there was a shift from the values from maximum decreasing to increasing and it began at 4.5 at 4.5 this is 383.48 at 4 0.4 383.71 so fairly well this is already acceptable so the minimum surface area is 383.48 do you follow you get it